Hey, good morning, extraordinaires. How's everyone doing this morning? I hope all is well. Okay, it's a green smoothie I'm drinking. I, I'm gonna take a screenshot and leave it uh, on the screen so you can screenshot yourself. And then in the description box, I will leave um, the, I think it has seven green fruit and vegetables in it, but it's very, very good. It's really, it's really good. So I'll leave it the ingredients in the description box if you guys can um, check it out if you like. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm about to have breakfast. Um, I'm a couple of days behind with this video. So I have a couple of things coming up in this video. Maybe a haul, um, dinner, a few things. And I just wanted to bring you guys along. Um, hey, yeah, and later down in this video, you wouldn't be surprised. Something came through for me that I've been waiting for. It. And um, I want you guys to uh, leave in the comments if you know um, what it is. Yep. So I'm just going to slice this avocado up. And um, I'm going to have uh, avocado with egg and cheese on toast. That's what I'm having this morning for breakfast. I love avocado, and I haven't been eating in a while. And have, have anyone else experienced avocado being um, hard? Yeah, that's what um, that avocado um, pit thing right there. I got this from Amazon, and it makes opening um, um, avocado very, very simple and quick, especially getting that pit out. But yeah, so I got this from Amazon. I doubt if I have a link. I had it so long. I have to learn how to leave links down um, in the description box, so I'm gonna get on that. I'm gonna learn how to do that so I can leave links to things that I purchased. But yeah, I'm, I'm, avocados are finally being, are uh, finally soft again. At one point, they were so hard. I mean, I thought it was just, you know, in this area, but I was watching uh, another lady um, on YouTube and she lives in another state and she was saying the same thing about her avocado one day. She was like, I never um, had an avocado that don't smash. And I was like, wow. So it's everywhere. So it must have been something that, <clears throat> the production that was going on everywhere. So, so I'm gonna um, go ahead and get started in this video. And, you know, I'll check back in with you guys in a few. Uh, I, think that's, I think that's all I have to say. <laughs> So guys, what I added was pink Himalaya salt and some um, garlic and herb butter, if you guys didn't see that. And right there, I have American cheese. So yeah, I wanted to make sure you guys caught that. I know the video was going off you fast and I know I typed it in, but you know, you could have blinked and missed the type, missed the word. So, so you don't have to guess or wonder what it was. Or if you missed that part, the um, garlic and herb butter 
is so delicious. It's by Curry Gold, and you cannot buy it in packs. You only can buy the single sticks, at least we are there. They only sell them in the single sticks, and it costs over $2 a stick, maybe $2.25 or $2.50 per stick. Um, the first time I bought them, I was really hooked on them. I was going obsessed with them. I bought the most I bought at one time was seven sticks at a time. But now I'm not just, you know, um, I think it was the excitement of the new brother to now I cut back about two at a time. <laughs> two at a time when I run out, I run out, you know, and I'm gonna get, a, you know, obsessive, you know, impulsive over, um, you know, a good feeling, you know? So, yeah, so, um, I'm removing the pan off the grill so my eggs won't cook too hard. I really don't like hard eggs, so I'm just gonna let the residual heat um, finish cooking them. I'm stirring them up now, and then I turn the, 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 the electric off. I'm not just sitting there with the pan on the, on the grill. Well, now once I stir them up, I'm gonna put them back on the grill, but I turned the grill off because I don't want the eggs to get hard. Um, yeah, uh, so I pull off the toast I'm going to make the toast and I'm about to eat, honey. I'm about to eat. And you're welcome to come along. You're welcome to come along. I have enough for everyone. Hey guys, it is Saturday evening. I didn't do anything today but rest. I'm going to warm up some of this chicken noodle soup that I made the other night. It was so, so, so delicious. One of my neighbors that I see that we even bragged on it the next time he saw me. He, he talked about how good this soup was. And it was, it was so, so, so delicious. So I'm warming me up from tonight. And I'm just going to continue to rest tonight. I didn't do anything today but rest. Need some more meat in here. <clears throat> yeah, I was coughing off a lot today. And my chest kind of hurt. My voice kind of raspy. And in the past, there has been a sign of me catching the pneumonia. So I'll be that dead, sick spirit in the name of Jesus right now. But I'm just going to rest for the rest of the evening. And, um... Yeah, I just wanted to get on here and tell you guys good night and close out this video. And we'll pick back up tomorrow. So, I hope you guys have a good day. And in the meantime, be extraordinary. Good night. See you in the morning. Hey guys. It is the next day. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am on the camera today. Do you notice something different? I'm so excited. Praise the Lord. God is good. Comment below if you know what I'm talking about. Now, I do have a small food haul. Um, for those of you who may remember or may have heard me say, there is a food pantry across the, across the street that I get um, food from sometime. And I mostly like to go on Sundays because Sundays um, are one of the best days to go because they have a large um, quantity of stuff and they also have meats on Sundays. So I'm just going to show you that haul really quickly. And um, I have some fresh everyday roll, every everything rolls. You know how they say they have the everything bagels? Well, these are rolls, everything bagels. Now, I thought it was only one roll in the bag when I asked for it. Because two is just extremely too much bread for just me. Um, I, don't, I would have, wouldn't have mind if I knew my family was coming. I was put in the freezer for my family, but they they already been here. So, I have to find a neighbor to give a roll to. Because that's too much bread for me. 
because it's just me. But and it's very very fresh. I'm telling you, the fruit is very fresh. If I saw the you do it this way so you can see. So they do give out Wegmans. We get a lot of food from Wegmans. Okay, and we had some raspberries. They had a, a fruit tray, but I didn't take the fruit tray. It was just a whole tray full of food. Fruit. I took it last week because my family was here. A bag of fresh oranges, a nice big juicy oranges. Now I did give my neighbor a bag of onions because I already have some onions. I gave him a bag of onions and a bag of tomatoes because it was a lot of tomatoes. I should have taken a couple out from you because I do have one um, steak tomato, but then I have some cherry tomatoes, but I'm going to make some um, homemade sauce from that. So these were regular tomatoes. I should have probably taken a couple out. It was like eight tomatoes. But I gave him that and onions because I have onions and tomatoes. So here's the green peppers. I cook a lot of green peppers, so I have those green peppers. I have baby potatoes. A personal pan pizza. I try to get two of these. These are nice little snacks that I eat in between meals. Like I'm gonna eat one today <laughs> while I'm cooking because Again, I got two packs of short ribs, beef short ribs. She gave me two packs, and this is Angus beef. I'm gonna cook one pack and freeze the other pack. I tried to get her two pieces, but she didn't give me two pieces, but she gave me two steaks. I'm gonna have beef ribs. She said because it's not a lot of meat on the bone. But I wasn't ready to have two pieces because this is only me. So I'm gonna have to break this down. I'm gonna cook a whole pack today because I'm gonna share it um, with my neighbor and I'm gonna freeze the other pack. And I have two pomegranates. I got these because I do the simmering pot. Now, what I didn't get was grapes. They had grapes, they had um, lettuce, they had whole lettuce, they had bag lettuce, they had mixed uh, spring. Um, lettuce with all the different, you know, uh, the mixed lettuce. They had a lot of things. They had gallons of milk. They had roast pork, um, roast beef, chicken. You only get a choice of one meat. So I chose the short ribs. Um, they had uh, so much stuff that I turned down because it's just me. They had canned goods, all kinds of sorts of canned goods, all kinds of like box macaroni and cheese, all that kind of stuff. I turned to them because my cupboards are full, full. So I learned how to start taking stuff that I'm not going to use because I don't like wasting food. So that's the food hoil. Now they give out um, a hot lunch. It used to, before COVID, you used to go over there and sit and eat. If I could find an old video of the smoothies board, yeah, they will serve this community because it's not only for homeless people, it's for the community people. Because I live downtown, I live right in downtown. And people come in there off the lunch break, you know, and um, get something to eat and everything. But it was all like at the hot place, like a restaurant, like an all you can eat buffet. And you walk down and serve the food on the place. It was so nice, but since COVID, now they don't do that. They pack up a bag lunch. Um, last Sunday, they gave us beer with for lunch. They got like, a whole bunch of chicken stuff. Now, I don't normally eat, well, I'm gonna eat it today because it's the grilled cheese and maybe some tomato soup, but I don't normally get the lunch. Because now, since um, they're doing it like this, a lot of these, like, Casseroles, they make casseroles, all kind of casseroles because it's easy to cook big pans, feet food, big pans food, and pack it up like this and serve people. And then, oh yeah, yeah, potato soup. I'm gonna eat this. Yes, it's really, really good. And they get uh, 
Hoagie, Lush Meat Sandwich on Hoagie Rolls, cheese. I mean, it's like, you know. And um, so, potato soup and grilled cheese. I'm going to eat this for lunch. I'm so grateful for the place. It's like really a blessing. So, yeah, so we got our. Oh, excuse me. Day plan for us today. I'm, I'm going to eat lunch. And I am going to cook dinner. Um, I may get around to making some bowls and kind of things like that because I still didn't do that yet. So if you are new here, please subscribe and welcome to my channel. If you are returning, thanks for coming back, you know, and checking your girl out. And I really appreciate your support. Comment below, guys, comment below. If you see the difference and the change, I'm so excited. Maybe I can get more involved with you guys now that I'm actually showing my face and participating with you guys instead of just always showing things. So I do have um, my office space have to be cleaned up. Like it's just cluttered for me um, pulling storage stuff out and put, you know, moving things around for my grand family came. So I'm gonna do all that this week and um, get things in order and have everything nice and comfortable for when Christmas come and definitely by the time New Year's come in my house to be clean, put together. I'm just old fashioned like that. Clean house, clean um, laundry and all that stuff before you bring in the New Year. So I've always been that way, I was raised that way. So. I have to give myself time because, you know, my situation, things go really slow for me. I have to really take my time. But I'm out of breath and um, because I came right in here and got right into this video. So I do want to have lunch. And that's what I'm about to do. I'm going to put these groceries up and then I'm going to have lunch. Yeah, so let's get into this. Wash my hands already. Hey guys, I'm going to um, massage the meat with the green seasoning. I'm going to put it in the bag, put it in the refrigerator, and let it marinate for a couple hours. And I'm going to have my lunch, and then I will come back to you in a few, well, a couple hours. 
because I have to charge my phone. Okay, so be extraordinary and I'll catch up with you in a couple hours. Don't forget to subscribe. And go check out some of my other videos I uploaded this week. I really appreciate it. Share, like, comment, share with your family. Help me grow my page, please. Hey guys, it is extremely late, like quarter after six. My dinner is normally done at this time on Sundays. I was making some wheels, wheels, and I got caught up. <laughs> My um, phone kept freezing up, you know. I'm in the process of um, getting ready to purchase a new phone. I'm going to get the, uh, the iPhone 13 Max. I can't afford a camera. And the only reason why I'm getting that is, is through the phone company that I have now. I'm, I'm eligible for an early upgrade. So I hear they make very, 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 very good videos. So I'm looking forward to that. So I do have the potatoes on. I'm going to boil those. And then I'm going to smash them and... Um, Season them, put some cheese on them, and bake them off in the oven. I like that recipe that I saw. I took the ribs out so they can come to room temperature. Now, they're going to take a, a minute to cook in the oven. So, I was thinking about pressure cooking them. What do you guys think? I was really thinking about pressure cooking them. I have a small pot here, and this is a lot of ribs. Maybe I'll pressure cook half. Yeah, well, since I'm not going to um, serve my neighbor tonight because I don't go to his apartment this late, I can pressure cook mine, and then I can put his in the oven. That way mine can get done right away. Yeah, that's um, a solution. So I'm going to let them sit for a minute, come to room temperature. And um, I'm not going to cut up any um, green peppers or onions and all that kind of stuff because I have all the green seasoning on them. And, um, yeah, so, um, I think everything else is just about ready to go. Let me see. Well, at least I can get his in the oven. Let's do that. Let me get his in the oven. So, when I go out to tomorrow, or if I want to go out to the store tonight, if I make it out to the store this evening, I can take, hey, guys, me up. Which, ooh, ooh. Oh wow, what's going on with my tripod? Look, it's loose. <laughs> Let me fix that. Be right back. Yes, DJ. So I changed my mind about um, putting some onions 
with my um, in my food. It's just something about having onions on on, on your beef, your steak. Ooh, I just couldn't go without the onions. So <laughs> I'll do without the green peppers, but I had to do the onions. Sorry, it's DJ. Hey. time getting the bottle open so I had to get the, the bottle grip with me. This is my first time um, using it and I had it for such a long time I forgot I had it and I'm always trying to be struggling trying to get bottles open and um it just dawned on me that I had it so <laughs> thank God he brought it to my memory because I couldn't get the bottle of um a uh, uh, real cooking wine cooking wine that's what I'm about to get some cooking wine See how long it takes me to get it open? I'm still struggling. But I'm about to have it open in one second. <laughs> So, this uh, these are the ingredients I'm gonna add in a summer pot. We have a pomegranate, two small oranges, cinnamon stick, um, some pure vanilla extract, some mint leaves. I feel like I'm missing something. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, let's get the slicing this up. Let's gonna slice some nice. It might have to be too thin or too thick. I'm using two because they're small. As you can use two or one large one if you have a really nice large one for that amount of water. And you have to use them. I got my, um, I always tweak um, my, the ingredients according to the size of my pots and stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> Versus what, you know, the recipe calls for. This pomegranate is getting old. Oh, that juice will destroy every little part of me. Definitely want to use this up. Cause it's drying out. I'm missing something. The mint, no extra orange, pomegranate, and a cinnamon stick. I think that should be it. So we're waiting for that to come to a boil. We can check our potatoes again. Some of them are done and some of them are harder than others. I hate when that happen. That's because it was on that small burner. That's why this big pot on that burner over there. So it cooked unevenly. Wow. And I don't even have the back burner on waiting for the water to boil. Isn't that something? <laughs> Oh, 
I'm very thirsty. I'm gonna get the pop of soda. Ha <laughs> I knew it was something. Good thing I said, let me get the pop of soda. Cranberries. A couple of cranberries. I knew it was something. So I was going to add, um, substitute with the ginger, so I'm not going to use the ginger. Because I knew I was missing something. Good thing I said, let me get the pop. So I'm going I'm to hold off on the ginger. I'm going to make it off our couple of cranberries. Seems like I got a whole lot going on, right? So we're gonna check this meat. Make sure the pressure is off. All the pressure is off. And so it shouldn't open with no problem. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. As long as it's not overcooked, I can do with it. Not overcooked. Okay. I can cook some more. I think. Let me check and make sure. I think it's done. Mm -hmm. I am afraid if I even put it in the oven with some sauce on it, it might overcook. But I do want to brown it a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to put it in, I'm going to put it on boil. But I'm going to cook the potatoes first. And then I'm going to Brown these uh, on boil with a little bit of barbecue sauce. I'm not gonna let them cook any longer in the pressure cooker because by the time they heat up and get hot, they're gonna be done. You know, so <clears throat> I let them do the rest in the um, oven. <clears throat> so here's our potatoes. Let's get under some light. They are probably a little overcooked. I'm gonna let them cool off a little. I'm gonna mash them. Oh, that's not too bad. Definitely want them to cool off before you do this part. Because you will burn yourself. Well, you probably won't even be able to do it because <laughs> they be too hot. Ooh, they look so pretty and gold and yellow. Golden rather, not yellow.
just want the meat and potatoes. I have vegetables tomorrow when I I don't like to um, serve my guests without a vegetable, so I mean, I, of course I'm gonna eat leftovers tomorrow, and I'm gonna cook him some vegetables. I have some cabbage, so with my leftovers. Oh, let me turn the camera around. I forgot. <laughs> so um, the, when I cook him, cook his tomorrow for him. Um. I'm gonna cook some cabbage because I don't like feeding my guests without a full meal. I just don't want vegetables tonight. It's late, 7:30, 7:25. So I'll cook some cabbage tomorrow. And yeah, I have cabbage tomorrow. Eat vegetables tomorrow. So in the meantime, we we'll wait for the potatoes to get done. I, I washed most of the dishes. I still have my fruit and vegetables sitting over here drying up. Before I put them in the refrigerator. And, um, yeah. Maybe I can show y'all a little bit of, uh, some of the decorations that I've done. Just some of it. Let me see. Let me drop the tripod. I don't wanna. Okay, so. Ooh. Why is this supposed to be blinking? Okay, it is blinking. So, there's some of my, um, some of the, this is my entryway. Uh, I don't have the candles lit because you know I'm not giving y'all showing y'all everything. I'm just giving y'all a sneak peek. My entryway. Once I do the whole tour, I'll have everything lit up. This is the pole. Now this pole normally should be in my well when I moved here, I used to have it in my living room. I had two of them, but I use it for the light in the kitchen to cook. So I'm not finished my kitchen. I just try to start. Don't that look so Christmassy? I'm going to take a picture of that. That looks so Christmassy. Oh, so I did start my um cocoa bar, my chocolate bar. I have chocolate. You know, certain things I'm not going to put out now. I got chocolate, you know. It's only me, so I didn't buy a lot, but I do have enough here if somebody stops past. And um, this is my bedroom, living room. Got some. I'm going fast because I'm going to give you a, a complete tour. I'm not ready to do the whole tour because I still have to do my bed. This is my table. And um, I'm not finished my front door. Can y'all peek at my front door? I have one more piece I had to put in my front door. And it's on my knob. We're having a contest, a door contest. They, they was doing some pulling carpet about that apartment today. Just a few minutes ago, actually. The lady moved out. This is my front door. I have one more piece I have to add there. So... I just do it. I give y'all a peek and be nice. <laughs> um, oh yeah. I did still didn't show y'all a few things in here. Well, like my towels. I got some towels I hung up. And you get a closer look. Okay. I will definitely give you guys a full tour. <laughs>
Ja, maar dat te eten. Zo kan het bijna hebben dat we weg hè? Ik weet het cheese, maar nou je probeert nog een cheese. Oh, I'm watching the um, Kim Potter trial. So I'm about to eat this food, baby.